Right, so quick one through of what we did yesterday evening. So we were talking first about just changing chords. So fairly all right on that now. So, you know, with the, the basic ones. So just have them kind of hanging over there. C, A minor, F, G. Kind of just turn the hand around, get G there like that. So that's no problem for us at this stage. Now, so we were doing it based off of the if I had a hammer. <clears throat> now, so that's obviously, Stroman is the issue with that song, right? Just the rhythm in general, because it is pretty fast. And um, even though we do, it's lower than the real thing. You know, it's still pretty quick. So with it, right, we're just going. Um, so that's basically what it roughly should sound like. So to start, just, uh, just get the down. So one, two, three, four. Da -da. So it, sort of if in doubt, that's where to start. Obviously, that's you know a much more basic version of what, what I was just doing there. But that's the, it's the starting point. And once you're doing that much, at least, then you're in there. You know, it can only kind of get better from there. And then it's just a case of getting those ups in there. So we were talking about that. Um, but generally, I find that kind of fingers going down, you know, loose enough, but animated, you know, sort of go right down. Make sure your thumb is down past it so that that just kind of you don't have to get it in place first it just it's just naturally there so every move is a strum you don't have to kind of readjust before it and then hit it so so if we do with that uh, with a couple of ups then we're going better again so the little stop thing it's not essential but it's it's nice to get, to get it in there because it, it is kind of um it makes the song a bit more recognizable for what it is so so the way i'm doing that is so i'm strumming down like normal but instead this time i'm turning my hand in the way so that the back of my thumb blocks the strings like that so we kind of end up here and then that way i can just come back up again so in here and then the thumb comes back off it. So give that a go. But I mean, if 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 that's awkward and you can just do the down, 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 that's that's perfectly fine. So then we were talking about the more advanced chords, um, like the ones in "Can't Have Falling in Love." So that's A or D, I should say. So yeah, if you're doing it fingers in a row like that or like that whichever um uh, both work so sharp and then b minor so so the, the first two were okay b minor then so basically with that one bar it in a way uh, so if you're, if you're not going to hit it on the fourth fret there it just needs to be taken out so try and bar it on the fourth or the uh, the second on these three strings the bottom three and just touch that one to kind of take it out of the equation. And that's B minor there, because you're only getting rid of a note that's already there anyway. So, so that's a nice way to do B minor. And then the uh, the C sharp seven then. So if you're coming at it from the F sharp minor, what you can do is just get these three fingers back. They're here for the F sharp minor. Just give both of them back behind the first fret, and then little finger comes in. That's a, that's a nice kind of easy way. To, not easy, but you know it's it's efficient enough because you don't have to lift these. You just need to drag them back, put the little finger down, and there you go. Um, okay, so that that was um, most of what we did there for chord wise anyway, and then there was a little bit on the rhythm of uh, kind of falling in love as well. So that's very simple. Just one two three one two three with the odd little again with the odd up in between the num the numbered ones or the, the strong beats um you know wherever you feel like it so one two three and one two three and one two three and one so you know one two three and one is uh you know a good place to start but um you know as long as you're kind of with the general meter of the song and keeping up with that you really can't go wrong with it all right i'll see you monday